This is a Singer 99K made in 1927. It has a round bobbin and today I'm going to show you how to thread it and how to wind a bobbin. Now to thread the top thread. First put the cotton onto the spool pin and bring the thread across to the first hook which is here just above the tension discs. Go over that hook and then down to the right hand side of the tension discs between the two discs round underneath and then up and take the thread over to the right hand side this means that the thread will slip underneath the tension spring which is here at the top of the discs and then you take the thread over the top of the tension discs and down to the left hand side. You then need to take the thread underneath this guide here so it comes out on the left hand side and then pull the thread upwards. Next you need to get the take-up lever to its highest position, turn the wheel and then when it's at the top Thread the thread through the hole from right to left. Pull it through so you have a length of cotton and then take it down the face plate to this hook here and you can get through that hook by just sliding it across and it will click underneath. There is only one hook left now, which is this hook here, just above the needle clamp. Slide the thread under there, and you are now ready to thread the needle, which on this machine threads from left to right. The needle is threaded from left to right. Once you have the cotton through, have about four inches loose, take it through the groove in the foot and leave the tail at the back. To remove the bobbin, slide back the slide plate and there is a little button here which will make the bobbin pop up and remove the bobbin ready to fill. To wind a bobbin put the thread on the spool pin and then take your bobbin you will see that there is a hole in the bobbin and pass the thread from inside the bobbin so it comes through that hole and pull a spare length of thread. Then slot the bobbin onto the pin of the bobbin winder. Move the wheel slightly because there's a little notch that will go through the hole and when it engages it snaps into place. Pull the spare tail here out of the way and very gently, being careful not to pull the tail out, take the thread through the thread guide here at the top, then through the thread guide here at the bottom, and then over here to this hook here. Once it is threaded, keep a finger here to get it started, start turning and once it's winding, stop a moment and clip off the surplus thread so it doesn't get in the way and then carry on winding. And now you can see the bobbin 
filling up. If you want to carry on until the bobbin is full, carry on until the winder automatically snaps out of place. And this will happen when this lever here is pushed up by the thread filling up on the bobbin. If you want to stop and just take the bobbin off with a small amount of thread, then push this lever here and it will disengage the bobbin winder. I'm going to take the bobbin off, so I'll snip the thread and just take it off. Now to put the bobbin into the machine. Pull back the slide plate and have your bobbin the right way up and that means you need to have the hole with the cut off end of thread at the top. Slot it into place, pull the thread and you will see that the bobbin, bobbin moves anti-clockwise. Bring the thread over to the left and you will find there is a groove that it will slot into. Then take the thread round towards the top and there is another groove here that it will slot into. Take the thread over the groove and leave it just there. Close the slide plate and leave the thread coming out of this hole here in the slide plate. You are then ready to pull the bobbin thread up, hold the top thread, take the needle underneath once and you can then pull up the bobbin thread and you are now ready to sew, have both tails at the back and you are ready to sew. To put the bobbin in place underneath the machine, first of all make sure you have the bobbin the right way up. Have it with the hole with the little end of thread at the top and put the bobbin into place and take the thread over to the left hand side. You will find there is a groove here over at the left. Hold, I'm blinking, kick the tripod.